And I was like, yeah, it's the battery and it's the amount of uh, vape juice left. And you're like, that's it. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck else would a vape tell you? Hey, what's up? Hey, what? I'm, I'm listening I though. I looked at the fucking, I looked at my, oh boy, uh, I looked I looked at my like uh, little app with all yeah. the train uh, fucking thing times on it. And then I was, uh, I was like, oh fuck, one's about to come. So I was like running towards it. Yeah. But I was listening to music and the song that was playing was I Need a Hero by Bonnie <laughs> Tyler. So I was like, I need a hero. And I was like running towards the- Thinking <laughs> of the bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. I got there and I had like a little bit too much time to spare. So I was like sweaty and like panting at the bus stop. Woo, mama mia. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Can't trust a bus, really. You can never trust a fucking bus, no. dude. It's crazy. When they show up on time, I'm like, ooh. Yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. like I've been given a gift. Not like, that's Not like what I deserve. That's expected, yeah. yeah. No, that's what I deserve? <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh, let's unpack that. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, boy. Are we ready? I'm ready. All right. I mean, we're going, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. We got the bus story in We got there. the bus story in, or at least half of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to tell you what I just saw, okay. by the way. All right. Sorry, I just came in. Firing on all cylinders. Phone, so. Yeah. So I was waiting for Maxim to open the door for me, mm -hmm. and there was a guy who walked by. He had three dogs. Oh. Two unleashed. All good boys. All good boys. Okay. One of them was one of those dogs that have like a wheelchair. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he had a wheelchair on his back legs. Yeah. And he was a beautiful husky, mm -hmm. and he was walking around, and he, on the back of the wheelchair, was like an American flag, <laughs> like waving as he walked. And then um, he came over, and he like said hi to me. Do you and think I he was, chases that, like it's his tail sometimes? Oh, definitely not, because I saw him turn around, and he has to take really wide turns, because <laughs> he's in the wheelchair. Like a PT Cruiser. Like a PT Those Cruiser. Those cars suck. Yeah. PT yeah. Loser. Terrible turning radius. And then he had right, his- Dad? <laughs> Your, your dad's watching the podcast crying, being like, that's my girl. Uh, but I he got her something. <laughs> he had his little back legs and two slings in the back in booties. Oh, yeah, to, yeah So yeah, they don't yeah. drag on the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, but they were like a little bit mobile. So as yeah. he walked, they like kicked a little bit. It was oh, the cutest thing. That is cute. Oh, my God. I wish we could have a body positivity the same way that we feel about dogs. Oh, yeah. Like with people. Yeah. I see a fat dog and I'm like, oh my God, perfect. you're so cute. Yeah. I see a dog with no legs and I'm like, perfect. Yeah. And but then we don't do ex, that with people. Your ex is like, you think our dog's fat? Yeah. <laughs> That's my dog. <laughs> You'll never have him. Oh, I, oh, I'm a bad dog owner now because my puppy's fat. God, I hate that guy. Uh, My friend from work, did you, you might have met her. No, you didn't meet her. She has a dog and she's been like, you're just reminding me of this. She's been training the dog mm -hmm. because apparently some of these big dogs kind of like don't realize they have back legs. That's what she told me. And she knows a ton about dogs and she like learned a ton about the training. And he's an old dog. So she's like trying to teach him to understand like his legs and positioning and in part so that she can help him like work on the muscles that are Oh, I see. Bad. Yeah. So... He, there are all these videos she has of him where she's trying to get him to learn his legs. Oh, and my he, God. And he's, like, standing on one thing, and then his legs are behind, and he has to bring one up onto, a like, a thing. And it's so hard. Like, he doesn't... It's like when you learn how to move your ears. Oh, Like, yeah. you don't think that you can do that. Like, yeah. you don't really know. Yeah. And it takes so, so much work to learn the muscle. Am I doing it? I guess that's what it's like for a dog's legs. Wait, am I doing it? Uh, you're, you're just doing this. You're like slightly smiling. You're, you're like, you're like. <laughs> I'm just straining in some other weird way. Yeah. It feels right though. Whatever. But, uh, I don't know if it's all dogs or what. She made it seem like it's bigger dogs mostly. Yeah. But she also was like, that's why. Well, smaller dogs, their back legs are closer to their head. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. So they can like feel them. Yeah. Like big dogs, they're like, they're all the way back there. <laughs> they're like, whoa. It's like with the horses. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, How am I up here? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> um, but she was also saying that's why sometimes with dogs, like especially when they're puppies, yeah. they haven't learned. They're not they're not using their back legs. Their back legs are just coming with them. Totally. They don't yeah. really know. And then so that's why they'll like tumble over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. We really started talking about animals. I gotta read animals about this because she could have just been tricking me. It all sounds a little ridiculous. It does sound ridiculous, but I, I she trust pranked her too. Me. I trust her. She's very smart. 
Um, welcome to the pod. <laughs> welcome to Worthless Clowns. There yes. we go. Yes. We got to the intro. Oh my, we got to the and intro. And we stopped it. And you also sounded excited to be here. Oh, and yeah. And not like you, a gun was being held to your head. Welcome to Worthless Clowns. Yeah. Uh, the podcast. <laughs> How stupid we all are. <laughs> I'm Brittany Cardwell from Jonas Cardwell on Instagram. And I'm Ali O'Neill. You can follow me on Instagram at It's Ali O'Neill. And um, follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTubes. Tell your shit. friends. That's the biggest one. Yeah, tell your friends. And, truly. And uh, come see us live. We yes. got a show at QED on October 10th. Yeah. Nine o'clock. Uh-huh. It's going to be really fun. It's me and Allie. Motorcycle horse. Motorcycle horse. Man, That's... we don't talk about motorcycle horse much anymore. I know. I um, know. God. Yeah. And then... Uh, and then your special. I, my special. It's far in the future, but I got to say it every time because yeah, three you of should. you might turn up. Hell yeah. You got to remind them constantly. Yeah. There's time. Listen, if you guys live somewhere else, there's time get to get plane tickets, bro. Yeah. It's months away. And Take if a you, little vacay. If you fly here. Okay, this is true. If you, if fly, you fly here, here she'll give you a kiss on the another lips. <laughs> I'll do more than that. Uh, she'll give you a kiss on the ass. <laughs> If you fly, <laughs> if you fly here from another city just to see the special, and you show me your plane ticket and everything, we'll hang out all night. I'll buy you three drinks. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah, I think that's good. <laughs> yeah, you can come hang with us after the show. Yeah, if, and as I'll long hang. as you pass the vibe check. If you're yeah. like a creep, then that's not our. If fault. you don't pass the vibe check, I'll give you a signal. You'll know what it is. Yeah, you'll understand. It'll be get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be like Allie. Can you get over here? And then Allie? I'll I'll walk up and I'll do this. Hold on. I'll be like, you needed me. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> Allie just pretended to punch her own fist in a threatening way and she hurt herself. <laughs> yeah, because I bent my nails. <laughs> God, uh, I'm really stupid today, dude. Uh, but the special is December 3rd at the Slipper Room. Um, yes. 8 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Um, can I show you something? Yeah. I did something really funny today. Um, so I was... Funny girl over here. I'm a funny girl. <laughs> um, so I was on fucking... I was on Instagram... And I was sitting next to Dave. Wait, you were on Instagram today? I was on Instagram today. Oh, really? Like, I'm like, I should have seen you there or something. <laughs> <laughs> what? Dude, I fucking... What time? I hate... <laughs> <laughs> Saved? No. Archive? Allie's on her phone. You're doing... I feel like you're doing a me. Where Do you don't God, understand. God, I'm sorry. Also, I feel like your activity likes... It, it always takes so long to get to likes. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so I saw this video of this guy like um petting a baby camel oh man and the noise it makes is really funny uh-huh so i'm gonna play it for everybody and i'm gonna show you the video okay <laughs> oh my god so i showed that to dave that's i showed that like to a noise i it's would crazy. make if i was trying to keep in how satisfied i was dude i that's what i said i showed it to dave and i was like that's after you give me the best two minutes of my life yeah <laughs> <laughs> and i can't believe how good i feel yeah and he's that like that camel needs to be touched more uh, yeah. uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> like you're almost shocked by the pleasure you're getting uh, <laughs> Oh my god, that's that's what I feel like when I wake up in the middle of the night and I drink a big glass of water. Oh yeah, man, <laughs> that's good shit. I had a huge one today and I did feel like that. <laughs> it felt like it just yeah. changed who I was. <laughs> I know, yeah. You feel like a whole new woman. Yeah, 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 yeah. God. Um, anyway, what's going on with you? Updates. Sorry. Well, we hung out last night, so, so and we, we don't did have a lot pod to talk yesterday. About. So, and we talked about all the animals we know yesterday again. Yeah, that's true. So we we're did out. Talk, we kind of talked about more animals after the pod. We did. We walked on the street to get dinner and we were like making fun of ourselves for only talking about animals on an hour pod, like the whole thing. And then we we're like, you're like, well, also, um, there's this dog. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Also, I have some more animal stuff about my parents' dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, we and a cat that yeah, you met. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. The cat that pissed in my suitcase yeah. my first day when I was yeah. in, on the West Coast. But yeah, like we were like, God, isn't it fucking stupid that all we do is talk about animals? Yeah, and we did it anyway, for 30 more minutes. Olive is not doing too well. <laughs> <laughs> so we started talking about animals again. Yeah. 
Um, but last night we also went to a show live from outer space. Yeah, and you crushed. Uh, I would agree with that this time. <laughs> yeah, you really crushed. You I was did. having so much fun. Yeah, yeah. You talked about animals in your set. Oh, big time. <laughs> I don't remember what I did. The oh, I did the earwig thing. Totally. I'll tell that story now because we said it after the pod. Yeah, let's get yeah. let's get into our stupid stories. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought you were going to use that as a stupid story. I could, I guess. Well, you don't have to. I thought we were going to do more updates first. We can. Here, save the earwig. I mean, whatever you do, whatever yeah. you want. Okay. I don't know. I'm, right. well, I'm tired. Well, um. Good thing I made the momentum track of my come thoughts. to Thank a, you. Cr- a <laughs> crashing halt. <laughs> right. Uh, the show was fun, though. Yeah. And I told Allie right before that I had to take a shit. Yeah. But I didn't <laughs> yeah. have time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was surprised by it. I don't usually have to poop that late at night. Have you talked about your peeing stuff on the pod before? That I wet the bed till it's twelve. No. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that you've been <laughs> that you've been holding your pee more. <laughs> oh, I don't think I have. Yeah, guys, I've been practicing holding in my pee. You actually also have talked about wetting the bed until you were twelve on the pod I'm before. Sure. Uh, it'd be weird if I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoopsie. You. I was like, you're peeing thing, and you're like, that I wet the bed until I was twelve. <laughs> um. Yeah, this is, it's kind of embarrassing, but I've told you and I told Dwayne and a couple other friends. So now people check in with me about how it's going, practicing holding my pee. How's your pelvic floor doing, Britt? (laughs) How is it? Yeah. I just was like, I pee too often. I pee the moment I feel any, any sensation of needing to go. It might be because you pissed your bed so much. I think part of it is that, like, I get a little anxious and I feel like I have to go once I notice it. And you're like, uh-oh, if I don't go now, I'm gonna pee my pants in five minutes. Yeah, even though I have full control right now because I'm conscious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Also, like, it's not even that you have a, uh, a big like need to pee. It's not like you have to pee really bad very often. It's like a small amount of having to pee, but your brain is so sensitive to it. Let's go, let's go. Um, And that's really annoying at night. Like, it's not that bad during the day. Like, I can just hold it. But if I have the option to be, like, if I'm bored at work, I'm like, let's go. You know? No, totally. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's annoying at night because I think my bladder just always thinks I have to pee. So I'm getting up like several times a night when I don't really need to. So anyway, I'm practice holding my pee, for instance. And you've uh, been doing great, by the way. I've been doing really good. And it, it was like effective immediately. <laughs> <laughs> like I held, I've been holding it Dr. for like Brittany. a week and a half or something, maybe two. Yeah. And I feel like I already don't have to pee that much. And you know, I get an update every single time we go to the bathroom <laughs> after the pod. You're like, I've been holding my pee. I've been holding my pee a lot. And guess what? It's working. <laughs> Yesterday, also at the show, Allie came back outside to the hang area and uh, we started talking. She was saying something really funny. And then I, I was like, I have something to say to Allie. But then I, I was listening to your thing. Yeah. Right. And then I was like, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. And I was like, man, you would have loved it. It was going to be so good. I don't remember what it is. I'll remember. And then I remembered what it was. And it's not important to Allie at all. All I remembered was that I had hadn't peed at all during the whole time we were at the venue. <laughs> you were like, God, you're going to love this. I can't believe I forgot it. And let me tell you something. I did love it. I did love that you said that. <laughs> I was like, woo! Yeah! And then I like smashed a beer on my head and drank yeah. it. <laughs> um, yeah, the show was fun. But, so I had to take a shit right before I went up. Oh, yeah. And then Allie was like, uh, then she did a, like an Instagram story of I me. took a little boomy little took boomerang. boomerang and was gonna write like Brittany told me she had to take a shit right before this and it's been the best set of her life or something <laughs> yeah and I showed it to <laughs> Dwayne and Dwayne like only kind of laughed at it and then I was like she'd hate that right cause I didn't think he would <laughs> but no. I was like Dwayne will know I guess also he didn't laugh at it that much so I was like is this bad <laughs> anytime a man doesn't laugh at a, a brilliant joke I make I'm like, it must be bad. <laughs> you know what it is? He was thinking about his sourdough bread. Probably, <laughs> He yeah. wasn't really paying attention. No, he was gone the entire night. Yeah. He, his body was there, but his mind was somewhere yeah. else. We the woke up this night. morning, and cause he's been thinking about it for like a day and a half straight. We got up this morning, mm-hmm. and he went out before me, and he started working on the sourdough. Yeah. And then I got up, walked out. There was such a weird feeling in the air. <laughs> and then I'm like, hey, what's up, guys? Sam was over there. And he's like, good morning. And then... Then Dwayne was like too focused on his bread. So it was like weird. And then Sam goes, I'm feeling a little tension here. And I was like, no, no, we're fine. He's thinking about his bread. (laughs) That's so So funny. funny. But anyway. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I showed it to him and he was like, I was like, Brittany's not going to like that, right? 
And then I wrote, Brittany told me she had to take a shit right before this and she's having the best <coughs> set of her life on the Instagram story. And before I posted it, I showed it to Dwayne and he didn't really laugh at it. And then I was like, she's not going to like that, right? And he went, he, <laughs> no, he like shook his head. And so then I just tagged you and put sparkles over it. Nice. I do like the sparkles a lot. I know you do. You yeah. always I was like, me. how'd she do that? <laughs> oh, you go into, okay, you go no. you go into GIFs and yeah. then you type in Sparkle and they'll be all different ones and you just make them really big so that they Man, take up the screen. I never screen. thought about making them big. That's I'm so a graphic smart. designer. You're so smart. I'm so smart. But, all uh, my friends are smart, but Allie's the best. <laughs> 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 but then like, I told you after and you're like, that was so funny. And then I was telling Dwayne, I was telling you what Dwayne did. And then Dwayne was like, what? No, yeah. no, we didn't. I didn't think we came to an agreement. No, you know what he said? What I wrote he it say? down. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because I like to write down weird things he says um, just for evidence later, you know. Evidence. <laughs> he said, uh, he said, I didn't think we made an opinion together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is just such a funny, like. Way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the show was good. I didn't tell you this. Afterwards, when I was waiting in line mm -hmm. in the bathroom. This, of your like, one P at the venue. One of the P. Night. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. Thanks everybody. Uh, <laughs> this old man walked up to me in the line, and he's like, "Hey, how do you were back there, right, in the, for the show?" <laughs> yeah. And I was like, "Yeah." And then he's like, "How to gut you?" He was asking me all about it, you know. And I was like, "Oh, it was really fun, or whatever." And he's like, "So you're here? When are you gonna be here again? You're gonna be?" And I was like, "Oh, it's." It's my friend's show. And he's like, okay, so you're here next week too? And I was like, no, no. no. It's oh my, my friend God. John's show. Yeah. And then also it was so weird because he said something like, he was like, he was like, well, you're the one that told me that you did a show back there. And I, I was like, what is going on? Sometimes describing comedy shows <laughs> to people who have no context for it is ridiculous like have you he, ever met he walked up to me like he knew i was on the show yeah but then he, by the end of it he was acting as though i told him i was on the show yeah and why is he why is it weird that he's confused yeah i don't know dude it was so weird but i think he was hitting on me but it turned into this really weird yeah, and then conversation. he was like no you said you were on it yeah <laughs> and, and then, then he's telling like, you you're wrong right. <laughs> yeah god dude fucking um like, have you ever met those people who think that stand-up comedy you just make up on the spot? Yeah. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Crazy to explain it yeah, to people. Yeah, and then they're like, why aren't you like that exactly in this conversation? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. You mean you the got guy other... that you went on a date with? Oh, yeah, and several other guys. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Why aren't well, you doing your podcast with me right now? <laughs> I wanted to sample the podcast Britney experience. <laughs> Has that <laughs> happened to you? Well, it happened with stand-up. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. sorry. I was just wondering. Which is the if... same thing, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Um, any other updates? Should oh, we get my any God. I don't know. I don't think I have any other updates. Oh, okay. Another thing that happened at the bar last night was um, I was waiting in the line for the bathroom. Yeah. And there was a stranger behind me. And then behind him, I saw Dave. Oh, yeah. And so Dave and I were like waving at each other. Nice. And we were like, hey, what's up? And then it's the like guy. It's like you're like wa each waving like you're waving at a baby. Yeah, we're like. Yeah. And you're like, it's not weird. The baby's looking at me. I know. He he looked at me and he did this. <laughs> <Pink -a -boo. laughs> um, but then the guy in between us was like so close to both of us because that bar is really small. Yeah. And so then we look at him. And we're like, we're dating. We're dating. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, OK. Yeah, that makes sense. And I'm like, dude, imagine if this guy just picked he me just up in this bathroom line. waving. Yeah. And then uh, the guy like we're just like chatting with him and the guy turns to me. He's like, how long have you guys been dating for? And then the bathroom door opened and he was like, oh, I'll just ask him. And so I go into the bathroom and I hear Dave because Dave's voice like Wait, radiates. This guy is being way too nice. He's being he was so nice. It's yeah. so nice. Um, But then I hear Dave's voice radiating through <laughs> the bar from the bathroom. And he's like. Yeah, we've been in for a year. Yeah, no, it's really great. It's really great, man. It's a great time. We just went to the West Coast together. I wouldn't together. care if she heard this either. <laughs> I know it she feels so the same. It was so funny. It was so Dave to talk to a stranger and be like, uh, uh, I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. All right. Should we get into our stories? Yeah. I guess I'll tell the earwig story now. Might totally. as well. If you want. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you want. Sorry to... <clears throat> um, sometimes I feel like I accidentally well, get micromanaged. Well, I was going to tell it eventually anyway. But, yeah. Um, uh, so when I was a kid, every kid was like worried about earwigs. Totally. I We've also, talked about this before. 
parasites kids were worried about. Black yes. widows. Yes. Right? Brown recluse. Brown recluse. <laughs> If you get bit by a brown recluse, your skin falls off uh, and you die yeah, eventually. Yeah, we're just you have skin. We're literally just your organs are exposed. Yeah, that is what not having your skin is. Yeah, <laughs> we're just naming bugs. Yeah, we're like black widow, earwig, brown yeah. recluse. <laughs> it's a bug pod. I don't know how guys. anybody listens to this I fucking know. podcast, but so um, everyone's every kid is worried about earwigs. They're like yeah. terrifying. Also, I, was, I saw them a lot more when I was a kid. I saw them all the time. Like you'd mm-hmm. lift up a rock looking for salamanders mm-hmm. and there would be a bunch of earwigs there. You know what? There. It's because I used to look for salamanders I a looked lot. under <laughs> so many fucking rocks. Yeah. Like I loved- Man, that was so exciting. Oh, Just I was, flipping a rock. I was in bed watch. I was watching Instagram reels and a guy- it's like lifts up a rock in the woods and there's a, a red salamander and I go Ooh. I go yes out loud <laughs> and then Dave was like what and then the guy in the video goes yes <laughs> man we gotta go flip some rocks I would love to I would love we to should do go that. to Prospect Park yes I never think to do this we, anymore baby we gotta go flip rocks man. right after a rain yeah right after a good rain in touch with our inner child yes just go look at some bugs yeah and then we'll yeah. get ice cream and then we'll cry because it'll bring something up I know yeah. yeah and I'll be like I miss my bob <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway anyway kids were terrified of earwigs I was scared of them all the time and you know because they're called earwig you think they're attracted to your ear of course or something totally right? And they're remember, a wig for your ear. Yeah. Yeah. Or whatever. Why are they called earwigs? <laughs> I have no idea. Man. It sounds like something from uh, Harry Potter. It does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, wasn't his owl's name like... Hedwig. Hedwig. That's what it was. Which Hedwig makes sense because that's <clears throat> where a wig goes. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you laughing well, about? Well, I was like, does it make sense as an owl's name? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, maybe he's just... Maybe he loves wigs. I don't know. Yeah. Doesn't, I don't uh-huh. care. <laughs> Allie's feeling insecure about her comment. Brittany, about shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I have a point, but you don't want to listen to it. I guess you don't want to listen to it. Fuck. <laughs> God, I can't say anything around here, you bitch. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I'm terrified of these uh, earwigs. And I would go to sleep. This happened all the time. I'd go to sleep. And sometimes I could hear in my ear this sound. And it felt almost like a little pressure, like pressure, right? And it would be like... Yeah, like it felt like that in my ear. Totally constant. Like you could hear it in your head. Yeah, yeah. And the way I imagined it was an earwig in my, my in my ear, <laughs> like burrowing through my earwax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just chomping down on the it. The last yesterday, yesterday when you told me this, you were like, just <clears throat> just going through my earwax. <laughs> yeah. That's what you said. <laughs> just going, just burrowing through my earwax, and then you did this motion. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I'm imagining. And do you remember that? Uh, caterpillar book everyone had that when they were a kid yes where they're eating the hungry leaves. hungry hungry caterpillar. hungry caterpillar caterpillar they're eating <laughs> how do you say it caterpillar okay good i said it regular <laughs> yeah <laughs> i had a friend in high school who couldn't say caterpillar she'd say caterpitter oh that's that's actually really she cute she couldn't correct it that's oh, really it's cute. cute when you're 17 <laughs> honestly i think it's cute when you're 17 i love 17 year olds i hang okay. out with them all the time <laughs> okay cut <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've been watching too much Game of Thrones where everybody's like fucking their like uh, oh, child, yeah. like daughter or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Uh. So anyway, I I kind of imagined it like the hungry, hungry caterpillar. The earwigs. Yeah, just like just like but happily of, eating my earwax instead of Trump, leaves, Trump. it's your earwax. Yeah, yeah. And for years, I would be scared in bed, thinking I had an earwig getting into my ear. Mm-hmm. Um. Because of that sound. Totally. And then it, I finally realized it was just my heart. <laughs> I'm just hearing my heart beat. <laughs> and the only the reason it wasn't every night is because it was only when my head had like more pressure. Like yeah, if yeah, I yeah. laid a certain like way. Like when your ear is blocked. Yeah, and yeah, like yeah. Hear the you can hear what's going on inside. Yeah. God, that's yeah. so fucking funny. You can hear my body and all my thoughts in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God. You know, I love hanging out with you, but... <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm talking to an alien. Yeah, yeah you know, when you could close your ears and then you can hear all your thoughts in there. It's like, well, what I did the it fun? for you. <laughs> I know, I know you I did. I thought you were like this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I didn't know for years that it was just my heartbeat. I don't know how I figured it out. I think one day I just realized I probably heard my heartbeat some other day and knew what it was and was like, that's the earwig sound. 
<laughs> Dude, you like were playing with a stethoscope. Yeah, yeah. And then you're like, oh. He got inside. He's in- I'm full of them. You're like afraid that you're going to unzip and just be yeah. a bunch of earwigs. Yeah. Like the candy man with his bees. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. That's uh, so good. Yeah. Um, I'll get into my so stupid story. So glad I never think that anymore. It was just like a constant nightmare. I know, yeah. You have so many stories from your childhood that seem ridiculous, but just make me realize that your anxiety has a oh, bigger it's problem anxiety. than I thought it was. It's delusion. It's just always been around. Yeah. Also, I don't know why I didn't tell my parents this, because they would have dismissed it easily. Well, that's exactly... You know what? They probably wouldn't have given me an explanation. They yeah, probably would have been they like... They would have been like, that's ridiculous. Yeah. 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 I needed uh, because, the heart like, explanation. Because if, if a kid comes to you... And is like, oh, there's bugs in my ears. <laughs> like, you're not going to believe them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And I probably wasn't like, it makes this sound. I probably didn't give them in- enough information anyway. Totally. For them to be like, that's your heartbeat. I probably was just like, I hear, I hear bugs. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And then you would have gone to like a psych ward. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hear bugs. They're yeah. all around. They're in and my no ears. And no one in my family wants to deal with anything like that. They keep telling me to kill myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. They keep telling um, me that I'm God. <laughs> God, maybe J Fod had earwigs. Oh uh, <laughs> his earwigs that were saying like they were doing like red hot chili peppers lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. J Fod yeah. the great co- communicator. communicator. <laughs> J Fod the great communicator. Oh my god, I love it. It's so funny. Um, what's your stupid story? Okay, so this happened like right before also, I Also, I still keep looking at your vape oh. like it's a little tiny cell phone. Let me tell you something. It's about this. Don't what? give it away, my stupid oh, story. Oh, ooh, stories about the vape. Kind of, a, it's vape adjacent. But um, so before I left for the West Coast, like a couple of weeks ago, I went to <coughs> uh, my vape shop, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Could I get two packs of Jewel Pods?" Because uh, I was going away for a while. Yeah, and I didn't know if I'd be able to find them. And they were like, we literally only have like one pack left because we got raided. Oh. Whoa. And I was like, what the fuck? You guys got raided? Uh-huh. And they're like, yeah. And I was like talking to the guy because I'm in there all the time, like getting vape stuff. Yeah. And I was talking to the guy and I was like, oh, my God, that fucking sucks. And I'm like, they like they raided you just for jewel pods. And yeah. they were like, yeah, because they're illegal now. What? Yeah. Jewel pods are illegal. <sighs> well. I, was, I don't know anything about vaping. Is Jewel Pod just a specific type of vape? Oh, okay. Thing? So the Jewel is like the little USB thing that you yeah, see, yeah. and the pod that goes in it, the mouthpiece, mm-hmm. it fills with it's filled with oil, which is yeah. the vape juice. Yeah. And so, in order to, like, once that runs out, you put another pod in, mm-hmm. and so like I would go and get a pack of four of the pods with the oil yeah. in them. But is it just uh, this? type of delivery that's illegal or all well the whole vaping well just jewels the company why because the fda sued them or something because they were not being like transparent with their like business practices or their like health practices oh and so then they made vapes illegal oh okay like temporarily or whatever until it's like solved vapes are just jewel pods just Jewel Pods. Okay. The company Jewel yeah. is not being transparent. All mm-hmm. the other vape companies are transparent oh, about their okay. practices. All yeah. Right. And so um, so I was like talking to the guy and I was like, that's fucking ridiculous. What, the cops don't have better shit to do? Like, like mm. look at our neighborhood. <clears throat> like, there's crazy shit going on in here and they're raiding the vape shop. But he's like, yeah, that's what I said. Like, there's <laughs> not. He's also like a very, like a Middle Eastern man with yeah. a heavy accent. And, he, and I'm not going to do it unless you want me to. <laughs> you um, did like a cartoon voice instead. I always do. Whenever I do an impression of somebody, I always do my father. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I always do like a Boston <laughs> accent. Like, so I'm like, I walk up to this Indian guy. Right. Yeah. And he's like, dude, that's what I fucking said. <laughs> that's what I said, bro. <laughs> Wait. So what are the health issues with the. I don't know. I didn't look into it. They just think they're not being fully. So there could about be their... health problems. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I mean, listen, vaping isn't good for you. Yeah. I do it because it feels good and I like it. And yeah. I'm going to die at 60 anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna, we figure that out. I'm going <laughs> to <I'm gonna laughs> treat my fucking body like a garbage can. Yeah. <laughs> so I can get I have 40 good or my good. Oh, my God. I thought I was 20. I have 30 good years left. <laughs> um, but uh, so anyway, and I'm talking to this guy and I'm like, 
And I'm like, yeah, it's so fucked up. Like, they don't have anything better to do. And he's like, yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, they don't have anything better to do. <laughs> and then I was like, yeah, that's fucked up. You know what? You know what the cops should do? They should arrest every politician. They should arrest every single one of them. You and just execute said this them. to a man at a store. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was like feeling kind of loopy. And execute them? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we should kill everyone, right? We should call, kill all of them. Anyway, have a good day. Did he agree? And I think he, he was like like laughing and being like yeah. friendly. He was like, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh, would, man. And then I, I think he locked the door after that. Dude, I turned around and walked down. And I was like, Allie, <laughs> what the hell? So anyway. Were you pointing that up at him like you yeah, usually I was do? Like, we should kill every politician. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you know what the gov should be doing? We should kill every politician. That's what we should do. We should round them all up and execute them. <laughs> like it was no crazy. No excuses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so um, I fucking, uh, so I ran out of vape uh, jewel pods in LA and we're driving to uh, San Luis Obispo. Yeah. And uh, I didn't have jewel pods for like a whole day. And boy, oh boy, did I start feeling really terrible. Oh, really? Yeah, like really anxious oh, and no. tired and like sad. Oh, no. I know. So quitting is going to really suck. And so Dave, like we were driving around and we were kind of in a rush to get to our show. <clears throat> and then he's like, he pulls into like a right, like a, a strip mall. Yeah. And we, I'm like, what are we doing? And he's like, there's a smoke shop right here. Go get your fucking vapes, please. <laughs> I was like acting crazy. <laughs> and um, then, so I got the, they didn't have jewel pods, but they have, they had this. Yeah. Flume. Flume oh, mellow. Flume. Flume, flume mellow. mellow. And so every, the reason why I like the jewel pod. It looks pod, like a cell phone. Well, yeah, it looks like a cell phone or a fucking Tamagotchi or something. Yeah, or like a child's fake phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it would be like ring, ring, ring. Hello, yeah. <laughs> it's Barbie. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so um, I got this because that's like all they had. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, dude, I, I hate this. And I'm like embarrassed to be holding it. Yeah. I'm like, dude, I fucking hate this stupid Tamagotchi. Like yeah. I look like a fucking it's kid so with this thing. Too. It's so big and it doesn't fit in my pocket. It's yeah. like the size. If you're just listening, it's like this. It like it's like it fits in the palm of my hand. It's like it's like the size of a flip phone. Yeah. Which is too big because my jewel was small. Yeah beautiful ergonomic just design. like a long usb totally yeah. and it's like small and it's subtle and it's like for mm -hmm. an adult right yeah this is like blue and it's green. like look i'm vaping yeah i know oh i'm vaping yeah your other one was like it doesn't matter if people I know, know there's also not, not that much vape that comes out of it ready when mm -hmm. i fucking take a puff of this okay oh that seems like a lot to me I mean, no, no, <laughs> but that's what I'm saying is that's what comes out of this. Yeah. Like you can still see it. Oh, you're talking about the other one. The other oh, one. I was like, that's like, a ton of vape. Barely any vapor comes yeah. out. When I smoke this, yeah. it's so, look, it's still it's hanging so in the air. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> and so then I was just like bitching about it. Also, there's a screen on it that tells you the uh, amount of vape juice and the battery. Yeah. And last night you're like. I was like talking about it with David Drake because <laughs> David Drake kept like vaping mm. from my vape and he was sucking on it like I was going to pay his college tuition or something. Yeah. And he was um, really going for it. Yeah. And, and so he kept like snapping at you. He kept being like, yeah. like a little crab claw. Yeah. And then we were talking about it and I was like, yeah, it's the battery and it's the amount of uh, vape juice left. And you're like, that's it. <laughs> And I'm like, what the fuck else would a vape tell you? I'm like, do you want it to... It just feels like there's so much more they can do. You there's want it to have like screen. the weather app on it or yeah, something? <laughs> I want it to be like an Apple Watch. Yeah, well, it's a di I'm literally going to throw it I out I want it after to this. be like, here's how many steps you did today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, somebody should patent that. Yeah. Um, but so then I was like so embarrassed by having this and I was like hiding it from everyone and being Ooh, like... It should measure your lung capacity. I don't want to see that. And then show you a graph... <laughs> Of, of how uh, it's been decreasing. Yeah, yeah. That would be good. Yeah, no. I'm like, I. It's like I, the quitting vape, but it still lets you do whatever you want. It's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. It's like those tobacco packages that have the. the oh, bad yeah. Lungs. Like in the UK and stuff, they'll yeah. have like a fucked up mouth yeah, yeah, from yeah. mouth cancer. Yeah. But it's just a graph of your lung capacity. Totally. Yeah. Um. But, uh, <laughs> and then by the end of the trip, I was like, Dave, I like. Or no, no, no. This is what happened. He was, I was like, text i was like on my phone in bed and he looks over at my phone and i'm googling flu mellow brooklyn because <laughs> i started to really really like this vape. Oh, really <laughs> yeah because it's like it lasts a really long time the battery lasts a really long time 
Like I paid 30 bucks for this and I've had it for a week and a half. Mm. And like I would buy one like and it's it's half done. Mm-hmm. And I would buy one twenty dollar pack of jewel pods like a week. Ah. Uh. So it makes a lot more sense. And Dave's like, you're Googling your vape <laughs> brand. And I was like, yes. <laughs> and then he's like, that's fucking crazy. And I was like, Dave, I really am starting to like this vape. <laughs> he doesn't do. He doesn't. Vape no, he long. doesn't. He smoked cigarettes for a long time, but uh, he doesn't anymore. Yeah. He quit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, um, so that's my stupid story about how I learned to love my vape. Man. And also told the vape shop guy that we should kill every politician. <laughs> that's, that's insane. <laughs> Man, he was like, how am I coming off that I let I know. this happen? And I was like, we should kill every politician, <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> like expecting. Also, there's like three guys there who I see like once a week. Oh, man. I know. That's so funny. And then I looked, I walked past it today and they were closed. And I was like, did they get fucking shut down? I love those guys. Oh, man. But they own a bodega nearby. So at least they got some business. Okay, I'm just looking up this post. Oh, yeah. We got a great right. post for everybody today. Should we get to it now? Let's do it. I'm going to explain it a little bit. I'm going to explain a little bit. So usually we read a post from Am I the Asshole or something Mm -hmm. or Am I Overreacting or Today I Fucked Up. I found this thread on Reddit that every uh, like comment on the thread is so (laughs) funny. I read a few of them on the way here. Dude, they're they're so good. (laughs) So Brittany, take it away. Take it away. People, this is the question. People who owned hamsters, what's the weirdest way they died? It's also it's a funny question. It's to a ask. funny question, but it's I, I found this post after at my work. We were having me and my coworkers were all having discussions. Like everybody had a hamster, and yeah. all of them died a weird way. Yeah, like one of my coworkers was like, "Oh yeah, we had one, and it was in that like little freedom ball thing." Yep. And then my seven year old brother who didn't get it like oh, kicked it. No, and then it broke its back legs, and his back legs didn't work, so we took it back to PetSmart, and they were like, "Yeah, we can't really do anything about it. You can give it to us, and we'll give it to a snake." Oh my god! <laughs> and then <laughs> my other coworker they was took like, it back to PetSmart, like they're gonna fix it, they're or like, what should we do about it? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And then uh, my other coworker was like, oh yeah, we had a hamster whose eye fell out and she ate it. Her oh. name was Mischief. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody who has a like hamsters are just like suicidal animals. Yeah. It's like really crazy. Yeah. Man, I had a hamster, but I can't remember how it died. Maybe I had a it friend, just died naturally. I had a friend who um, had a hamster, and the hamster had babies, mm-hmm. and then she ate all of the babies. Oh, my God. Yeah. I think I read one of those in here. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. that happens. Anyway, yeah. go ahead. Read the comments. Uh, my hamster's name was Cotton, by the way. That's cute. Yeah. And he died I regular? I think so. But we only had him for like two years. They they don't live very long. Yeah. Um. Okay. So first one is... Mine died of a heart attack or old age, which isn't the interesting part. <laughs> I walk in and see my big burly husband, who's always pretended to just tolerate him, performing CPR. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's cute. How could you get your mouth small enough to focus the air into a tiny... Also, how can you make sure the air isn't going to blow it up and pop <laughs> the lot? <laughs> Because it'd be so hard to like well, calibrate Brittany, it. I don't know if you've taken a first aid class in the last couple of years, but I think in the last five years they've ruled out um, blowing into people's mouths. I've it's heard only this. chest compressions. Yeah. Oh, so he's doing chest compressions on the. On I know. The- yeah, he's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's so cute. Yeah, and kind of sad, I guess. I don't know. He was so upset he couldn't save him. <sighs> that's cute. Mm. Um. Real men love small animals. <laughs> There's someone in here defending the the guy for... Oh, and he's, talk, he's talking to his dad. My dad has been torn up about all my rodents that have died. He was really attached to my guinea pigs as well, specifically, particularly cranky and boisterous mama. That's the guinea pig's name. Wait, have I told you... You know what? No, I'm going to write it down. I don't think I've said it on the pod. Okay. I'll tell it another time. It's funny watching big manly guys who love these small creatures. My dad isn't exactly a manly man as he doesn't have the beard and big muscles. <laughs> <laughs> but he's 66 years old and cranky old bastard to a lot of people. Man, this post is just like, my dad rules. Wait, hold he's on. He's a man who loves small things. Wait, but go to the next I'm gonna go to, comment. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm going to the next because this isn't a real comment. You're just like <laughs> reading <laughs> the thread from one comment. <laughs> Um, so this is another hamster. He would hide his food in his cheeks so my mom would refill his bowl thinking I hadn't fed him. Eventually he got so fat he got stuck in a tube. 
<laughs> and died of a heart attack. <laughs> I guess he's anxious know? in the tube or something. How do they know that the... I don't know. Just su- suddenly he's dead and he was anxious from being in a tube? I guess. I guess. Yeah, they're all saying heart attack, though. It's weird. Yeah. I still remember my mom shaking the tube like a like a ketchup bottle. <laughs> 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 Trying to get his little corpse out. His little corpse. <laughs> <laughs> his little corpse. <laughs> that one's good. My brother had two and we were sharing a room at the time. He'd taken one out of the cage to put into a ball it can roll around on the floor, but it didn't seal the lid all the way. Then he got distracted by something and left the room. I came up and started to play music on my boombox and somehow the little fucker got up on the dresser and was right near the speaker. We think forgot about Dre being on blast gave him a heart attack. (laughs) (laughs) Because you forgot about Dre. Wait, how's it go? Because you forgot about Dre. I can't think of the rest of it. I think you got it. Yeah, we all know it. (laughs) We had two when I was a kid, not knowing that's not a good idea. So naturally, hamster one ate hamster two. What? What? (laughs) I guess this happens all the time. I read a few before. Oh, my God. Yeah. This was deeply disturbing. But in an odd twist of fate, hamster one's death was far more disturbing. And none of us were ever (laughs) able to figure out how it happened. (laughs) We walked in after school to greet him and his. He sat at the bottom of the cage looking up. As we get closer, we realize he has something in his mouth, which is unnerving because last time that happened, he was happily eating hamster too. Hamster too. But that can't be the case this time. (laughs) When we get over to the cage, little dude is dead, but his spine and little arm bones are poking up out (gasps) of his mouth. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This feels like there was a a witch in the house or a ghost. A witch? (laughs) Oh, man. Like, they're reaching for the top of the cage. It looks... It took ages to mentally figure out it was his own bones poking out of his mouth. It was creepy as fuck. Stepdad's... Closest guess... This is written weird. It's hard to read. Closest guess was he was climbing on the top of the bars like he usually did and fell from a height onto his bum, which forced his spine and other bones up through his mouth. (laughs) No idea if that's even possible, but I refuse to have hamsters anymore. They always die in the most messed up ways. They do. (laughs) God, that's so gruesome. That's That feels like something you'd see in Game of Thrones, which I've been watching. Uh, How far are you through? I still got to get into it. I just started season eight. Oh, my God. The last season. Whoa. Everybody talks shit about- You're so fast. It's only been a month. I feel like it's been like two months. Okay. Still very fast. (laughs) I know. Um. But everybody says season seven and eight suck. I haven't started season eight yet, but season seven, I think what happens in it is cool, but I think it should have been two seasons. Like, mm. so much happens so fast. Uh-huh. Um, but anyway. Huh. Is that because they, did they think season seven was the last one? No, what originally? happened was the people who wrote for Game of Thrones were offered to write the new Star Wars trilogy. Oh, I heard this. And so they were and like, fuck, get it done, get it done. And then it got away from them. Yeah. Because of how bad it, they ended Game of Thrones. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Someone said, weren't those the undigested bones from Hamster 2? Mm. We got a Columbo in here. Yeah. A Nancy Drew. <laughs> yeah. The Hardy Boys. <laughs> I can't find another. Okay. Um, okay. My mom put my hamster in her freedom ball while I was at my dad's house and forgot about her. She I also rolled... love it that they call it a freedom ball. Yeah. <laughs> like it used to be called a French ball and then World War II happened. Freedom fries. <laughs> friend, freedom bowl. Ball. Bowl. Freedom bowl. <laughs> while I was at my dad's house, I forgot about her. She rolled into the garage on a hot summer day and couldn't get back inside because there was a step she had to roll down to get out. So she couldn't roll back up. Yeah. Mom closed this garage door, trapping the hamster in basically an oven and found her dead later. Oh, cooked. Something like this happened with Dwayne's sister. Like. What? Like their hamster or guinea oh, pig. Oh, their hamster. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I thought she died in a garage. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I can't remember the detail. And I'm like, this is familiar. You're like, something like this happened. <laughs> she got left in a hot car. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Um, no, I think they had. She was playing with a guinea pig or a hamster in the garage or something, and it died from just overheating. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's so sad. Oh, I think they were throwing it back and forth. Uh, ah, that'll do it. Heart attack. <laughs> heart attack. <laughs> Gotta be a heart attack. Um, then she put the hamster's body in the freezer in case I wanted to bury her, but forgot about her again. 
<laughs> Imagine my surprise as a nine-year-old kid opening the freezer to get some ice and funny hamster sickle. <laughs> That's what he tells on first dates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ends with hamster sickle. Yeah, he's like, Imagine my surprise. Yeah. <laughs> hamster sickle. Eh? Hamster sickle. And then he waits for the laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he practices in the mirror. I had one called Doodles. <laughs> He loved moving his bedding to the top floor of his cage. I remember walking downstairs and seeing him dead. Little fella hung himself with his bedding. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> these are so bad. Like Jeffrey Epstein. God. Yeah. I mean, Jeffrey Epstein, Epstein didn't kill himself, but you yeah. know what I mean. So we had a hamster whose front teeth got very overgrown. They went in a full circle. Whoa. <gasps> it's like toenails yeah. that get long. Our mother, a nurse, gave the hamster Benadryl to knock it out and clipped her teeth with a nail clipper. Oh, my God. Ew. She put her in a bucket to start recovering. Bucker? She was coming at around when our cat found her and had a snack. <laughs> That's not as good as I thought it was going to be. God. She's like, finally, I feel She's good. Drugged. Oh, no. Yeah. She's like coming out of her drug sleepiness. Yeah. And there's just a... Get eat. She gets yeah. eaten. Yeah. Uh, how, much, how much Benadryl do you give a hamster to make it fall asleep? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> A hawk grabbed another one. A uh, hawk? Yeah. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? Dude, have you seen those? Tragedy. Have you seen those There's anti- All hamsters are cursed. Dude, I know. They are like little suicidal maniacs. Yeah. It's really crazy. Like, they just shouldn't be pets. Yeah. Also, they're like, they're such a cheap animal. And people view them as like a beginner animal. So they don't take very yeah. good care of them. Because they think it's like a fish. Like yeah, you just yeah, go yeah. feed him and that's it. Totally. But I'm sure Give there are complex beings in there. It's like, have you seen that documentary Chimp Crazy? It no, just came I got to see this. People keep telling me to watch Dude, it. Dude, I watched it and I had, I always, I never liked chimps. I always thought they looked creepy. What? Yeah, I just read a, the start of another post. But okay. I don't want to hear this. But they, I always hated chimps. I don't really like monkeys that much. I like orangutans. I think they're cool because they're just like docile and shit. Yeah. And I like little gibbons because they look like, you know, little bears or whatever. Or I like dogs all of or them, cats. including chimps. I hate chimps. I think they're ugly. So and weird. also they ripped the face off of that lady. <laughs> and like these people like put chimps. I just chimps can't believe you don't like chimps. I don't like chimps, I bro. don't understand this. This is an anti-chimps podcast. I'm vetoing whatever you say about chimps. I'm going to have to think about this for a while. I have to think about this for a while, and then I'll talk to you about it later. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it right now. Now we have to get the couples therapist <laughs> yeah. in. Yeah, for real. Again, it's all animal related. I know. <laughs> that happened last time, too. Yeah. <laughs> what was it? I forget. <laughs> God. Anyway, read the next one. Um. Okay. When I was eight, I fed my hamster a grape. And it clogged him up, causing him in his intestines to explode out of his ass. <laughs> I had a friend that happened to. Really? Yeah. They Anal- happened to the friend? Like, <laughs> it's like when you thought that happened to Dwayne's sister. Dude, I gave I gave him a grape and his ass fell out. <laughs> <laughs> and it was immediate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this was highly traumatic for young me. I sat there in the vet's exam room, my mom's hand on my shoulder, knowing this was the first time I would have to endure the death of something I loved dearly. And him explaining there was really no hope for Sir Lord Edwington Fuzzball Von Cheeks. I hate that name. I don't like this I person think it's now lame. after the name. Yeah. I uh, I stoically asked him if he was going to get a shot to put him to sleep. This vet said, I'm sorry, yes. Then I started to crack a bit and asked if I could have one too. Hilarious. <gasps> and my mom broke down sobbing about the vet... What? But the vet just semi smiled and said, "Absolutely not." <laughs> he was and like, "That was the day I knew I'd grow up to be an emo kid." Oh my! I don't like this. I, I don't what like a this. Terrible story. Bad writing too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Also, imagine if he was like, "All right, we're gonna put him to sleep," and then they just hit him with a cinder block. <laughs> <laughs> Got its leg stuck in a cage when I was at school. It apparently chewed its own leg <gasps> off to escape, then bled out. Pretty sick. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Pretty smart hamster. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we should finish these. God. Ugh. That shit's crazy. Have you had other pets die? Um, we had well, there was Miss Charlotte. Yeah. Who, oh yeah. We were talking about this last night where like she was definitely not doing well. And then my mom and my brother would like call the vet to come oh, over yeah. and put her down, but uh-huh. then they kept not doing it because she would like improve. Yeah. And then um uh, I was like, 
mom, if you don't fucking put that poor dog down, I'm going to hire a sniper. And you're you're going to see a fucking red sight on Miss Charlotte's forehead. All right? Put the dog down. Yeah, you're going to see the laser and go, no, no. Miss Charlotte. And you're hiding yourself as well. <laughs> Did that lead her to do more? To do it? What? Did that lead her to... Well, yeah, I think she just had, like, bad days, like, too many bad days in a row, and they eventually did yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But, um... Then... So your persuasive argument didn't... No, it, it didn't wasn't work. It wasn't No. And then... She wasn't just imagining the explosion and going, I, bet, I guess I better get ahead of this. No, yeah, no, it didn't work. <laughs> my mom was like, she won't do that. Yeah. Uh, and then my mom had a bunch of cats mysteriously die. Ooh. Uh Yeah. And then, oh, we had one, we had one fucking, uh, so we had a fish tank when mm -hmm. we were younger and we were in an apartment in Boston and, uh, we had like little neon tetras and stuff, but we would buy these little mini crabs Yeah, and they were so cool. Oh. And, but the thing is they were escape artists. Ah. Oh. So we would like, we would tape up the tank and stuff. Yeah. Uh, all the, like where the filter comes in and stuff and they mm -hmm. would still escape. <laughs> And like we would find it just like dry and dead, like next to the tank. <laughs> One day we were like, where the fuck is the crab? And we don't see it for weeks. Yeah. And then my mom is cleaning my brother's room across the apartment. Mm -hmm. And she goes under his bed and there's a dead crab <laughs> under his bed. Ugh. So it crawled. Got pretty far. All the way <laughs> across the apartment Whoa. and died under my brother's oh, bed. Man. And we had like cats and stuff. I'm yeah. like, I'm surprised a cat didn't find it and eat it. <laughs> Man. Yeah. But we had probably a few of those. Well, they got those tough shells. Maybe the cat hit it around. The Bopped cat might have hit it under the bed. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. But um, maybe he you? got he got out. He got bopped around. Had a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs>